A Modern Day Jonah. I once heard a story about a modern day Jonah by the name of James Bartley, who was swallowed by a sperm whale in the South Atlantic Ocean several miles from the Falkland Islands on a whaling vessel by the name of the Star of the East. This was back in 1891. Now, according to the story, after spotting the whale from the main ship, two smaller boats from the ship pursued the great fish and harpooned it. As the whale was fighting to stay alive, one of the boats was hit by the whale's tail, which caused one sailor to drown and another, by the name of James Bartley, to disappear into the sea. Now eventually, the whale died, and the crew brought it back to the main ship afloat, in which they began at once to tirelessly work at stripping away the blubber of the whale before it rotted due to the warm temperature that day. Now about 18 hours later, they reached the whale's stomach and noticed that something was moving within it. After cutting it open, they found their missing sailor, James Bartley, curled up in an unconscious, delirious state. After about a week or so of recovering in bed, he came to his senses and was healthy again. Yet, his skin had been bleached white, and he lost all of his hair while bathing in the whale's gastric juices. Now, some accounts also mention that he was blinded from the encounter. Although this was the end of Bartley's whaling career, he supposedly lived several more years. Now, despite my enthusiasm to want to believe this story in order to show how a man in more recent history has survived being swallowed by a great fish like Jonah, I also read an article from a Dr. Edward B. Davis. The article is called A Whale of a Tale, Fundamentalist Fish Stories, and this was found in the Perspectives of Science and Christian Faith back in 1991, which was published by the American Scientific Affiliation. Now, Dr. Davis is a former associate professor of science and history at Messiah College, which is a private Anabaptist liberal arts college in Grantham, Pennsylvania. Now, he was also hoping to believe this tale about Bartley, and he describes his journey of traveling to England and meticulously checking the sources within old newspapers and journals archived in various libraries and organizations regarding this account to prove its truth. However, to his disappointment, he concludes that the story appears to have been made up for purposes of attention. Apparently, early on, well-respected sources around the turn of the century were eager to believe the story as well and didn't thoroughly check the truthfulness of the sources of their day, which led to the story gaining popular acceptance. Now, as much as I would like to believe the story about Bartley, Davis's findings, along with not being able to find thorough, credible references myself to support the authenticity of Bartley's story, has left me uncomfortable with passing along this tale to give possible scientific evidence for people surviving after being swallowed by a great fish. But regardless, I still believe that Jonah's story of being swallowed and surviving is true. In Matthew chapter 12, verse 40, Jesus compares a real future event to a past event now, the real future event that he's talking about is him being in a tomb for three days between his death and resurrection. The past event that he's referring to, um, well, it must be a real parallel event as well, and that is Jonah being in the belly of a fish for three days. Now, of these two events, Jesus' event is not only clearly claimed to be real in the New Testament, and essential for the significance of the Christian faith, according to 1 Corinthians 15, verses 12 to 34. But Jesus' miracle is greater than Jonah's. So, if I'm a Christian who believes in Jesus' resurrection miracle, then I should have no trouble believing in Jonah's miracle with the great fish.